Incorporate OAuth 2.0 to an existing API and identity provider. Consider an existing API. Access is currently controlled by authenticating the requester using HTTP Basic over SSL against an identity provider. Here is my API proxy model in the Layer 7 Policy Manager. In the policy, I collect credentials, auth authenticate them against an identity provider, and check for the subscriber group membership. Requests are routed to the backend, and responses are transformed from XML to JSON. Inside the identity provider here, I'll use this user, which happens to be a member of the subscribers group. Using my browser, I'm hitting the API through the Layer 7 gateway. I'm prompted for credentials, and with my account, I get this JSON response from the gateway. In a target situation, I can still consume this API using HTTP Basic over SSL, but I can also consume the API from an application using OAuth. The Layer 7 gateway will act as both the OAuth authorization server as well as the OAuth resource server. The Layer 7 gateway will use the existing identity providers for authenticating the API subscriber during the handshake and validate the OAuth access token when the API is being consumed. Follow the instructions in the Getting Started Guide to set up the OAuth 2 template implementation. In there, you'll find a policy that implements the OAuth 2 authorization server. There is a branch for each grant type and for handling the subscriber permission. I will adjust it here to incorporate my identity provider and validate the group membership during the handshake. Browse the provider, find my group, plug it in, copy and paste, and save and we're done. Now back at my API proxy policy here, I'm going to create two different branches. The first branch is going to be for handling the existing uh, access control mechanism, so HTTP Basic over SSL. And the second branch is going to be for handling the OAuth based authorization. So I'm going to move the existing assertions that handle that first case in the first branch. And in my second branch, I'm going to include a policy fragment that comes with the OAuth 2 template implementation. So here is this. I'm going to now save this policy and I'm good to go. Next, I'm going to go to my OAuth test application here and I'm going to initiate the OAuth handshake with the gateway by pressing this button. And I am now on uh, the Layer 7 Gateway OAuth authorization server. I'm going to log in. I'm going to express the authorization and then I'm going to be redirected back to the client application and now that client application has that access token. At the bottom of my client application here, I'm going to put in the URL target for the API I want to consume, and I'm going to actually hit the API, and the client application is going to use the OAuth handshake that it has in, in, in session. And here's the response I'm getting back uh, inside my application. Adding OAuth was fairly easy, so let's do some uh, additional tweaking for bonus points here. So at the moment, I'm checking a group membership during the OAuth handshake and uh, granting authorization based on that. But what if I want to verify the group membership again at runtime during the API call? So this would allow me to um, have a contract change that would take effect within the lifespan of an existing access token. Okay, so here's how we do this in my API proxy policy. I will add an LDAP query after my OAuth uh, verification. I'm going to look up the subscribers group and I am going to look up the attributes called unique member, which contains the subscriber for this group. I'm going to save that uh, as a variable called members in my transaction context. So now I can uh, compare this using the comparison assertion uh, to the subscriber ID that's associated to the session for the access token that's coming. This, this variable here is set by the OAuth2 authorization fragment there. So I'm gonna check that, and if it matches or if it contains it, that's good. I'm saving, I'm done. Back in my uh, client API, I can uh, consume this API, API again, hit it, and 
And there you go. So here's what just happened in the last five minutes. We added OAuth 2 access control to an existing API. We incorporated an existing identity provider and we create permission checks so that they happen within the lifespan of an access token.